Well, today, not seeing any of the dust just yet in our sunrises and sunsets, because taking a look right now, seeing Cindy send this in, you can see some high-level clouds out there, but those are starting to clear out. Not really any dust or haze out there for us here in the Concho Valley. A few places along the coast are definitely seeing that, but we're going to wait for the weekend to watch some of that rolling in for us and have temperatures pretty much average for us for today, tomorrow, and a little bit warmer into Sunday. 95 for our highs today. Our lows are a little bit above average, 74. We're usually around low 70s, and we're going to be watching some 70s coming back. Actually, what's very fun to watch is seeing a lot of cooler air starting to get into the eastern counties, Mason, Junction, and Menard, Brady, even in at 70, 75 right now, a 10-degree difference between Mason and Re here in San Angel, 85, and even warmer out towards Sterling City of 87. So we're slowly going to see it cool down for us tonight, and with the clouds that we're clearing up, we'll see them get back into the low 70s. 72 for us here in San Angelo. Winds are going to start to come a little bit more from the southeast, so seeing strong winds cooling us down as well. Tomorrow, 96, plenty of sunshine to go along with it. Some clouds are going to be out there, and we're going to see a little bit of that dust later in the day. The full swing of it, though, is going to be coming in on Sunday. Not as hazy as you saw in Houston, but we will have a little bit of some of those effects. And it is going to be nice out there if you want to practice your photography. It's 96 and even 97 for us. So not too bad during, during the day and low 70s, 72 for the evening. So overall, not too bad for a summer day here in the Concho Valley. And we'll continue with that into the weekend but we are going to see some triple digits coming back for us on Monday, along with some rain chances. We're going to be taking a look late in the evening. It is 10 o'clock. This is pretty widespread. It's going to be some showers for us. Since it is happening a little later in our evening, we're not going to see as strong as storms as we are for Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be a little bit more active, and we're going to be seeing that's because of the dry line. So seeing that dry out and then getting a dry start to the Tuesday by 8, we're already starting to see another little bit of spot of showers and storms that are going to be coming through and moving south and then clearing out for Wednesday as well. All of our temperatures, though, are going to be staying the same sitting in the triple digits because the thing that's triggering all this off is the dry line. It's not a cold front or anything that's going to bring us cooler air. It's just going to be coming into to the Concho Valley. This is at 6 o'clock on Monday. We're seeing that drier air get to us. It'll trigger off some of those showers. Then that decides to move back out during the evening and the early morning of Tuesday. And then it comes back again for us in the afternoon. Still not there just yet by 3, but then it slowly gets to us in the evening. And that's what's going to trigger some of those storms for Tuesday as well. And then... We just sit in those triple digits for the next several days and start to see plenty of sunshine with that as well. So the weekend, not too bad, 96, 97. Get outside, check out that little bit of haze and dust from the Sahara coming in on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday are going to be the only days we see some of those showers that are popping up to change up. Yes, the triple-digit highs we're seeing. We're seeing 100 on Monday, 102 on Tuesday and even continuing that into Wednesday. So it'll be nice to have some showers to cool us off from these triple-digit hot conditions we'll see next week. Thank you, Jacob.